Hey guys, um, I'm going to be doing a session today for Deborah Tyndall. Uh, it's for her son that uh, has passed a couple of years ago. Um, his name was David Allen Tyndall. Um, born July 17th, 1983, death October 8th, 2021. May have had COVID. Think that he may have had blood in his eyes. Went on to work that day anyway. Um, he was found in the bedroom floor. He did use drugs. And um, I've got five questions here from from his his mom. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can hear from him and get a response. Um, now I've got to throw out a disclaimer. Um, it's not always easy trying to get somebody the first time if they've never been worked with. Um, sometimes they have someone help them speak if they've never been worked with. Sometimes their, their voice can be a low, deep pitch or a high pitch, or sometimes it can sound just like them. <coughs> um... I always advise everyone, do not expect the most out of the first sessions. Um, sometimes the first sessions are the best ones, but then again, the way spirits crowd in, there will be times when you hear me have to push spirits back. Um, but I, I will continue to ask a question over and over until I get a direct response to know that I have connected with David Allen Tyndall. Um, so let's try this, see what we can do. Uh, again, uh, Deborah, I am sorry for your loss. If anyone in the realm knows or knows of David Allen Tyndall, please turn his energy toward me. His mom, Deborah Tyndall, wants to hear from him. Um, we got some questions she's wanting me to ask. Uh, I know you guys helped me in the past with others. I'm going to need your help on this one. Um, so if you know him, know of him. Turn his energy toward me. <laughs> Calling out to David Allen Tyndall. David Allen Tyndall. Yeah. Is your name David Allen Tyndall? You're here. Were you born July 17th, 1983? Can you confirm that? Yeah. Okay. Your mom, Deborah Tyndall, is wanting me to ask you some questions today. David Allen Tyndall. 
try to stay focused. Back off. Let him speak. She said that you passed October the 8th, 2021. Is that about correct? David Allen Tyndall. Do you remember it being October the 8th, 2021 when you passed? David Allen Tyndall. That you may have had COVID. Do you believe that you had COVID when you passed? David Allen Tyndall. David Allen Tyndall. You did. She said that. You had blood in your eyes. She said you had blood in your eyes. But you went on to work anyway. Is that correct? Yeah. Said that you were found in the bedroom floor. By I think your your girlfriend's mom. Is that correct? David Allen Tyndall. Yeah. David Allen Tyndall. I know that you use drugs. This is a place to speak freely. Nothing's held against you here. She just wants some answers from you. She deserves it. David Allen Tyndall, did you have cocaine in your system when you passed? You did? Sure. Did you have marijuana no. in your sure. system when you passed? Uh. You did? Uh, I heard a female that's trying to help you speak here said you had two, no. two kids. Did you have a little, uh. did you have a boy and a girl? Uh. Yeah. Deborah Tyndall says, David Allen Tyndall, are you with Dad and Gramps? Off. Stay focused, David. Are you with Dad and Gramps? Is that a yes confirming? Yes. I am. I am. Uh, she also asked me to ask you, what does your tattoo say on your upper arm? David Allen Tyndall. What does what does it Something there, I couldn't catch it. What does the tat 
the tattoo say on your upper arm? <laughs> is it is it a name? <laughs> is it your children's names? She also says from Deborah Tyndall says David Allen Tyndall. David Allen Tyndall. Why haven't I dreamed of you or felt you since you've passed? Could it be that you feel guilty the way you passed? And you think that your family think bad of it? The way you died? That's understandable. I respect that honesty. Do you have any messages for your, for your two children? David Allen Tyndall. Do you, do you have any messages for your for your, for your two children? David Allen Tyndall. Do you have any messages for your two children? David Allen Tyndall. What would you like to say? Stay focused, David Allen Tyndall. That, that you know it hurt. That you know it hurt them. You're. I'm sure you love and miss your children. David Allen Tyndall. Well, Deborah wanted me to reach out to you and ask you these questions today. Thank you for being honest with me. Yeah, wanted to hear from you. I may end up calling on you again. Thank you for your honesty. Um, Deborah. Listen with earbuds if you need to. There may have been some things said there that you'll catch more than what I did. I will edit in what I believe I heard. Um, it confirmed everything that you said. Um, again, I'm sorry for your loss, especially in this manner. Um, Yeah. If you ever want to do, you know, a more private one, hit me up. Love you, girl. Thank you for trusting me to uh, let you hear from David Allen Tyndall.